The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. We have to constantly remind ourselves that our ultimate goal is to see each other in heaven. Our ultimate goal is to see each other in heaven. So anything that will prevent you from ending up in heaven, regardless how beautiful, regardless how joyous, how prosperous, Perus you are, but it will not bring you to heaven. You must despise it. As the scripture would say, what profit a man by gaining the whole world but loses his soul. Keep that in mind that our ultimate goal is heaven. Yesterday, I have said this, that happiness is a choice Joy is a gift. When I say happiness is a choice, it speaks about our attitude. Our attitude. Our attitude is independent regardless of the situation we are in. We have to accept that there are things we cannot change around us. But we can always change our attitude. To be miserable is also a choice. So it's up to you whether you choose to be happy or you choose to be miserable. But as I've said yesterday, joy is a gift. A gift from God. A gift knowing that there is a God who loves us who loves you in spite of. There is nothing we can do to make God love us more, and there is nothing we can do to make God love us less, because we are loved by God. And that is the reason of our joy. If we remain in the love of God, then someday our joy will be made complete. What is the message for today? The message of today, through Our Lady of Fatima, is to live in peace. To live in peace. Peace is not the absence of problem. Peace is having right relationship with God. Joy is a gift, but peace is having right relationship with God. That's why Our Lady of Fatima emphasizes conversion. Conversion. Conversion is not just making ourselves better today than yesterday, but leaving behind anything that is not of God. Anything that is not of God. We can only be at peace when we are in right relationship with God. Peace is not a feeling. Peace is a relationship. It is a relationship that God can give and the world cannot give. So whether you like it or not, regardless whether you are healthy, regardless you live in abundance, whether you are being applauded, whether you are successful. If there is anything that is not right in terms of your relationship with God, you can never be 
at peace. You can never be at peace. You have to understand this again. Joy is a different thing and peace is a different thing. You can have joy, but it doesn't mean you will have peace. You can have joy, but it doesn't mean you will have peace. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, that's why at the end, at the end, according to the Gospel of Matthew, peace is always relational. You feed the hungry. You give drink to the thirsty. You clothe the naked. You welcome a stranger. You visit the sick. You visit those who are in prison. You bury the dead. Peace is a product of relationship. It is not something you simply pray. Peace is correcting what is wrong in our lives. We can only have peace if we understand love in its total, in its real meaning. As I always say this, love is to order ourselves for the good of the other. If you remain in my love, it is not something emotional. If you remain in my love, if you order yourself for the good of the other, that is what is love is all about. That is the meaning of love. That is what the gospel has said today. The, the Jesus that we worship is not the Jesus who lives in abundance, even in poverty. As the saying goes, what what keeps Jesus on the cross is not the nail, but his love for the Father. What kept Jesus in the cross is not the nail, but his love for the Father. As we continue our pilgrimage, yesterday I invite you to pray that you will have the gift of joy. But today, I invite you to see yourselves. What are the things that I need to correct so that I will be able to live in peace with God? Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Fatima, pray for us. Again, my dear friends, peace is a result of our conversion to God, putting what is right, putting what is wrong to right, correcting what is wrong in our lives. Kanina habang naglalakad, sabi ni Mr. kay Mrs. Mama, conversion daw. Parang sinasabi niya sa Mrs. niya, magbagong buhay ka. <laughs> Sabi na ba ni, ni Mrs., ikaw yun. <laughs> Bakit kaya pag, pagbabago ay ibang tao, no? Sometimes, when change is necessary, we always look at the other person, but not ourselves. Remember this. If you see a good man, emulate them. But if you see a bad person, examine yourself. Because conversion begins with us. Again, joy is a gift. Peace is a product of having a right relationship with God. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.